All right, kids, good morning. Welcome to this week's Little Lamb's Chapel. Um, let's dive in, shall we? All right, <clears throat> we will begin. <clears throat> in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. So, all right, for our lesson, if you will recall, last week we talked about the day of Pentecost. And how many days after Easter is Pentecost? Do you guys remember? 50. 50 days after Pentecost. Well, after that, Peter and James and John and all the other disciples are hanging out in Jerusalem, and they're teaching about Jesus, and occasionally they would go to the temple to worship. That's the normal place they went. And one day, when they're doing it, As they were going into the temple, whoa, you can see. As they were going up into the temple, they came across a lame man. Do you, do you see? His legs didn't work. They were broken. And he had been lame and he couldn't walk. And so what he would do is he would hang out. They, his friends would bring him there. And he would sit in front of the temple and he would ask for money. Um, one of the things that was sad is, uh, if you were lame, you couldn't actually go into the temple. And so when, when uh, Peter and John were walking by, he would call on out. Money, alms, alms. And Peter and John called him and said, look at us, all right? Because normally if you were sitting there begging, you wouldn't eyeball people. You wouldn't stare at them. You'd just say, money, money, money. All right? And Peter and James say, you know, uh, sorry, Peter and John say, you know what? We, we don't have silver or gold. But you know what? In the name of Jesus, who's died and risen, get up and walk. Come on, what do you think happened? The guy was able to get up and walk. And he jumped up and he leaped up. And you know what he did? He went to the temple and praised God. Because he realized that through the disciples, through the apostles, God had done a wonderful, cool thing for him. Now, I've never gotten to look at someone and say, get up and walk. I, I'm not an apostle. God hasn't given that to me. And I've never had God suddenly heal my legs like that. But, but, I do get to tell people that Jesus loves them. And I do get told that Jesus died for me and forgives me my sins. In fact, that's what we do for each other. We, we tell each other that Jesus loves us, that we're forgiven because of Jesus. And then when we hear that, when we, when we have this wonderful talk about Jesus, what do we do? We praise God. We give thanks. This is something to remember. I know it's probably getting boring at home. I know it's probably a little bit scary. Yeah. Well, you know what? Jesus still loves you. Jesus still died on the cross for you. That's still true. And because of Jesus, you are forgiven and blessed. And so, we're still right to praise him even now. So, with that being said, hmm, yes, 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 I, I will not do something different. I will still sing Jesus Loves Me because it's a great song. And I need to get it in one of the Sunday services again. Oh, no, we'll, we'll figure that out. So, ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so, little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. All right, let's pray. So repeat after me. Heavenly Father, we thank you for loving us and forgiving us in Jesus' name. Be with us. Help us sing. Help us praise you. Help us to be glad all of our days. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, kiddos, 
I'm going to go and get some other stuff done. I will see you when I see you. Take care, be well. Listen to your parents. Don't drive them nuts. All right? Especially you. All right, got it. Have a good one, guys. Take care and be well. And remember, Jesus does love you. It's all good. Bye.